right, so when will customers get to support their local restaurants? Mackenzie O'Keefe joins us live now on how restaurants are getting prepared. They want to be ready, Mackenzie. They do, Karen, and different restaurant owners have different opinions on the continued closure, but they all do know that once they can reopen, the restaurant experience will be completely different. And of course, they say some guidance and some timing would help out with the process. We're down to about 20% of normal sales. For seven weeks, restaurant dining rooms have been closed. Christine is the owner of Parisi and is anxiously looking to the day when they can fully reopen. At least up until now, I feel like we've had a date to work towards, um, but anything beyond that with a big question mark will be of concern for sure. She'll soon be adding partitions between booths and one way traffic in the restaurant. But the big question is how do they plan ahead when there's no specific date set for reopening? I feel like it's going to be a very gradual, and so that's how we're going to approach it with both our purchasing and our staffing. Park Burger and Rhino says now the focus is innovative changes and adapting to a new normal. We truly believe that the restaurant industry is going to temporarily change and it's it's um, we've been using the last couple weeks just to have really amazing conversations. For now, they've transformed their empty dining room into a commissary kitchen to help feed thousands of frontline workers, keeping them staffed and motivated while they look for ways to eliminate touch, whether it's a credit card or a ketchup bottle. There's no reality in which a full service traditional experience can take place with social distancing. New experiences surrounding staff and customer safety. It's just as important to protect our communities as to protect our teams. Now here at Park Burger, they said they won't open up until they have that complete safety plan in place. But of course, they said they are also really looking forward to finding innovative ways to make this a great experience for customers when they can start to gradually reopen. We're live here in Denver, Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado first.